Hey everyone, it is April 30th, 2021, and today's card of the day is Foiled. No, the card is not Foil itself, like some TCGs like. It is the card Foiled with an exclamation point. It's a zero-cost event from the Doctor Strange hero pack from the back of his pack, and it has some wicked card art. I cannot wait to play this card against Kingpin someday, hopefully. It's a pretty amazing card, zero-cost event, so zero, one true cost, just the card from your hand. Interrupt. When a boost card is turned face up during a scheme activation, cancel its boost icons. Not this time, Kingpin, Spider-Man says, with the energy resource. This card is really, really good, but often overlooked. Especially in solo, a lot of people say you have to draw this at the right time when the villain's scheming. But when you do have that happen, truly magical things occur. It's also really good in multiplayer, because in multiplayer, especially in four-player, usually one person can flip down a turn, so there's always one scheme going off, and to have foiled in your hand to be able to cancel that nasty three boost when it comes up is just really, really good. So it triggers when a boost is turned face up. It doesn't matter who turns the boost face up. It could be the villain scheming against you, it could be the villain scheming against someone else, it could even be the villain scheming due to an advance you can cancel the boost icons on the card, but not the boost abilities. It's great for making the scheme value of a villain known. If you know you have a foiled coming up in your next turn, because you almost decked out, you can safely flip down against Rhino with his one scheme, because you know even if he flips a three boost, you'll be able to cancel it. It's important to note that this isn't a hero interrupt, so you don't have to be in hero form and play this in someone else. You can be in hero, alter ego, you can be in any form you want to foil the villain, and that is great. So, what are some cards this combos well with? Obviously, Swift Retribution is one of my favorite cards to combo this with. If you can force the villain to scheme, then you know Foiled is going to have an opportunity to be played. The worst feeling is when the villain schemes and flips a zero boost card and you can't foil it. But at the same time, if the villain schemes and flips a zero boost card, you're probably, you know, jumping for joy anyway, so it's not that big of a deal. If you holding Foiled in your hands makes the villain scheme with a zero boost icon card, then you'll be happy about that. It's really good with heroes that like to take some time and alter ego or flip a lot. So I'm thinking of like Iron Man who must sit the first couple turns in alter ego form to build up their tech upgrades. Having foiled in hand to cancel some of those scheme boosts can be really powerful. Likewise with She-Hulk and Kamala Khan, you're going to spend a lot of time in alter ego form, just flipping back and forth every other turn, most likely. So you know eventually you'll draw foiled when the villain's in, um, when the villain when you're in alter ego, so that the villain is scheming and you'll have some big impact from it. So I think those are my top three characters that I played foiled with, but I'm really excited to try it with Star Lord. So we'll see how that goes. So I wanted to end this Justice Week with a suggested deck to make foiled really stand out. And this is my Iron Man Pew 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 Justice deck. Iron Man Justice has been around forever. People have loved playing Iron Man Justice. But I haven't seen a lot of people play it with Foiled, and I think it's a great card for that deck. So the whole point of this deck, it's definitely a multiplayer deck, is to play with a lot of other players. So you're playing with at least two other players. And you're just giving everybody everything. You're giving everybody a deft focus. You're giving everybody you can a downtime, an endurance, a heroic intuition for yourself and others. Honorary Avengers, just give everything to everybody. Skilled Investigators for everyone. Sounds great. You've got 24 upgrades in your deck. So in theory, if you played through your deck and got through those 24 cards, this is a 41 card deck for some reason. I should probably cut something. I'll cut a downtime from it later. Um, so you would only get through 23 cards, then you'd end up with 17 cards left in your deck. So five of those are allies, three of those are supports, maybe some more of those are in play. Ideally, what you do is you get yourself down just to your eight events, your energy resource, and maybe a couple other things, maybe your extra heroic intuition, or an under surveillance, or an extra depth focus. You want to get to about 12 to 13 cards in your deck, and what you're going to do is you'll be in Iron Man form, you can play Repulsor Blast. Almost everything is an energy resource left in your deck. You can use Deft Focus to pay for that Repulsor Blast even. And Foiled becomes this energy resource fueler for your Repulsor Blast. On top of that, you spent the whole first half of the game in um, Alter Ego form. So you'll be able to use Foiled to cancel those scheme boosts as you're building up to your like ultimate state. So you spend several turns in Alter Ego form. It's like a four-player game. Spend three to four turns in Alter Ego form, just passing things out and playing tech upgrades, using Foil to cancel those boosts. Then flip to Iron Man form, and Foil just becomes damage to your Repulsor Blasts. And it's a super fun deck to play. So try it out. I'll put a link in the description below. It'll be 40 cards, unlike the screenshot I took. But hopefully you see the power of Foiled when playing with Iron Man. 
So next week, we are going to go on to the protection aspect. We'll be talking about five protection e-cards in our videos all week. Thanks for tuning in.